Right, welcome everyone. Second meeting of the month, April 15th. April 15th, that has a ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's as early as it comes. <laughs> That's uh, terrible. We have a, a, a nice group this evening, including Krista McGough from the Council Land Trust is joining us. Thank you, welcome. Uh, we will get to her momentarily. Let's do a quick bit of business. We would uh, have a look for the Adoption of the minutes from April 15th. <laughs> Did you read them? 2019. Oh, I mean, it should well, be April 1st. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> there's a sentence in there saying that we we're retaining Bennett, which I think is a mistake, for uh, services for the lady. Everyone's blue pens. The lady to the firehouse uh, oversight. Tim Bennett, it wasn't. Why don't we just okay, it's, it, it's not DWC, it's WDC. Well, somebody can make that correction on there. Okay. But Tim Bennett is a separate company. Right. That's in addition, they approached us. So it, it's, it's technically correct. Is he, is he hired? It's. it's he will not be a paid consultant. Well, yes, he actually will be. Oh, okay. He is he is consulting at the at this moment. He hasn't submitted his consultation yet or a fee for it. But I did ask him to review okay. for okay. some value then, engineering. Okay. And the only change is it's, it's W. <laughs> I just copied it. Mm -hmm. uh, WDC instead of DWC. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Did we have a motion or did we make it? I'll leave you out that for you. Okay. Is there a motion? I move. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Uh, Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Uh, I would then move to, uh, or excuse me, I would then uh, entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $41,186.05. Broken down general fund three thousand five hundred twenty dollars twenty four cents, fire fund seventeen thousand three hundred thirty two dollars and seventy one cents, cemetery fund one hundred thirty six dollars and twenty cents, EMS billing twelve thousand eighty two dollars and forty three cents, road and bridge six thousand six hundred forty nine dollars and fifteen cents, and capital projects one thousand four hundred sixty five dollars and thirty two cents. Is there a motion? I so move. There's a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. McGaugh has been waiting patiently for, <laughs> for, for her, long, her right? turn at the back. Do you want to take a longer time? <laughs> I'm making the baseball. <laughs> Welcome to the floor. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be back with you guys. It I sort of took, a, took me a while to figure out what your new time was, but, <laughs> but I'm here. Um, and this is um, something that you guys have done in the past, approving um, basically a resolution to support our submission of uh, an ag easement purchase program application. Um, it's a part of our Jacoby Partnership Project, uh, which is our five-year federal, state, local partnership program to try to preserve um, basically as much land as we can uh, in the two sub-watersheds, Jacoby and Yellow Springs Creek, mm -hmm. uh, that are uh, going through Miami Township. It goes up a little bit into Bath and a little bit down into Xenia, so it's a 26,000 acre area. and. We've got um, some dedicated resources in terms of state monies as well as federal monies for this area. Mm -hmm. So we're probably not likely to have a better time as far as funding for conservation easement purchase in this area. Um, just to say it also includes then uh, funding through the EQUIP program, Environmental Quality Improvement Program, mm -hmm. uh, out of the Natural Resource Conservation Service for uh, conservation practices also. Um, 
we're a little behind on actually getting federal money in play, mm -hmm. but we hope to uh, be able to get federal match for the project that, that we're um, bringing to you guys to, tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a lot of landowners that are really interested in conservation practices. So, so far we've been really happy. We've had three different educational meetings that landowners have come to and um, they've gotten to get a little exposure to the kinds of, of conservation practices mm -hmm. that could be at least 90% supported mm -hmm. through the equip program on their properties. And those include uh, cover crops, uh, grass waterways, uh, permanent buffer strips mm -hmm. um, to help filtrate the water. Water quality improvement is kind of the number one goal. Um, and so we're pretty excited about that. Interest in, in converting to organic. Mm -hmm. As well, mm -hmm. so I think we really might see. Oh, that's great. Yeah, might see some yeah. organic conversion in the in the township too. Um, now you guys have got the copy of the resolution, mm -hmm. and then also the map. And so oh, I'm sorry. Point almost. So the purple property there is the um, property that's in Miami Township, and it's Paul Pitstick Trust. So it's the it's the it's the part that Tom did say. Yes. Yep. Well, that's great. Yeah. Uh huh. And in fact, that family is is applying for some other easements up in um, Bath Township mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Did you? You've got a copy of this here. <coughs> Well, I would uh, <coughs> move that we uh, resolve to support this application. Is there a, a resolution number, Margaret? Uh, it would be 2019 14. <laughs> Dash what? 14. I mean, uh, 14. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a motion and a second. Oh, excuse me, there's a motion. Is there a second? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Hollis, we're moving. Mr. Crockett, second. Is there any further discussion regarding supporting this motion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Could, could I ask a question Absolutely. on this subject? Uh, remind me, in the broader grant, five-year grant scheme, uh, would further north on Yellow Springs Creek. Uh, I shouldn't say who, but somebody spoke about uh, creating a wetland on the, their farm north of Hill Road. Uh, yeah, up, up to the township boundary. Right. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> okay. And I, one other thing of interest I just wanted to mention to you guys, um, I um, we've been of course tracking the solar farm uh, leasing mm -hmm. process that's been going on, and have gotten some questions from from landowners um, who you know are interested in getting some more information about you know the pros and cons of, of those leases. So we're uh, working on doing an educational session with um, OSU Extension oh. in Green County. And it's probably going to be June or something like that. But um, we're looking to get some good resource people about um, the, the type of, of leases and um, the, the longevity factors, you know, what people might be able to expect. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we'll also have a little bit of information about on-farm solar mm -hmm. uh, as another alternative, too, um, that people might be interested in if they do still want to farm their land in the next 40 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. It, it may be too late, but I'm advocating for not using the term solar farm. It's an oxymoron. It's yeah. <laughs> a solar array. Yeah. Uh, you know, something something other. Right. Because it's definitely not fun. It's a good thing. Solar installation. Yeah, solar mm -hmm. installation. Yeah, that's, I understand those, if in fact the, the leases come to fruition after this initial period, signing period, um, 
they would not be CAUV anymore. So they no. could no longer qualify for no, they would not be farms. <laughs> right. I wonder what they'd be designated tax-wise for value. Uh, just the, the standard appraised value. I mean, they, they, in other words, the county would appraise them at market value. But for business, or I mean, what? I mean, what? Yeah. kind of it's business. Uh -huh. It's worth I, asking the auditor. Well, I mean, we could ask. I get. I mean, the Village of Yellow Springs has, and and Antioch College both have solar arrays. They, that they're yeah, not they're they're tax exempt, exempt, but that doesn't mean that the process they, they go through and still do the assessment. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I think you'd have to pay recruitment and mm -hmm. everything now. And, yeah, the and three years, sure. I've read one version of the, the lease, and um, it you know appears that the company is supposed to pay for that recruitment and pay for the difference mm -hmm. over those years. Mm -hmm. But how they guarantee that payment, I'm just not sure. Mm -hmm. you know? the, the interesting thing right now is in more or less, in Miami Township, the land is worth as much for agriculture as it is for development, because we're not doing a lot of development that says it raises the price. So it's interesting these days what the recoupment might not be so much, unless you look at putting a solar array on the property and, and that increases its, its value. There's, there's still a difference, though, for sure. Yeah, because yeah, well, you, you still have... You, the land trust does the assessments to find the difference between the farm value and the development value to purchase the easements. Mm -hmm. Right, and then especially Miami Township is is pretty high for development, largely because of the appetite for frontage lots. Still, mm -hmm. where are you in your in progress uh, sections? We are hot and heavy on getting these applications out. Uh, the nineteenth is the deadline for our federal match. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think that uh, the end of the month is the deadline for our paper copies and all the attachments to the state. Mm -hmm. ABA. So we'll find out about June, <coughs> basically, mm -hmm. probably about both sources. I don't know if we'll have actual awards in hand at that point, but yeah. we'll, we'll have a good idea. So. How many total projects are you presenting to the Clean Ohio for consideration? Uh, I think that it's probably 15. Is that something right? like that. Yeah. And so we, we sort of have two pots at this point. We have one pot of uh, up to $100,000 for the Jacoby Partnership mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. And then we have another $300,000 for the rest of Green and Clark County. Mm -hmm. So it's a little something different, but our state mm -hmm. partners are all pretty excited about participating in it. Yeah. So, um, and just to say, there's a lot of restoration money in there too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there are possibilities for restoring wetlands through that equipped dollars, but also through some EPA money that is a part of the partnership too. So any ideas anybody has, this is a you know great time. We'll be basically signing people up for the um, equip applications with a deadline at the beginning of October. So this summer is you know, definitely a good time to get out there and visit properties. And then the, the, EP, the next EPA deadline is July 1st, so it's getting pretty short um, for that Water Resource Restoration Sponsorship Program, but um, they pay 100% of the restoration costs as well as the easement costs and whatever else project costs are involved, title, appraisal, the whole should be there. So if you really have an area that you want to get back to a pristine state, Sounds mm -hmm. great. So, um, you need signatures on this, or is it just to read their names? No, signatures. Okay. So, uh, there's the chair, the vice chair, and the remainder. I don't remember who it is, but I'll make a copy of it as soon as um, you guys, you guys sign the paper. Yeah. 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 Things to be restored. I mean, that area on um, Hill Road, I don't think it's a be restoration. It's just, it's, it's nobody's taken it away from being wet Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's still remains. Yes. Yeah. It's been yeah. out of the yeah. Okay. But yeah, so there, there could be um, some. I'm not sure about that. But enhancements of native plants and that kind of thing. 
where we have what we have literally lost that land that can be restored is a yeah. different concept. But they were doing research on that kind of thing. Okay, I think we'll move along. Thank you, Krista. Yeah, thank you. Um, correspondence for the period. We have uh, OTA's grassroots clippings. We have Ruby Women Voters, the Voter newsletter. Uh, we have an invitation from Great Lakes Chapter of um, Society for the Prevention of the Old Mill, Preservation of Old Mills for their spring meeting uh, May 18th in Youngstown. It's interesting. We should note your Freudian slip when you said prevention of the mills. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> we had a letter from uh, uh, Green County Regional Planning about the uh, complete count committee that's being formed for the census. Uh, Pay attention to that because that's coming up. We have the pipelines from uh, the Green County uh, Sanitary Engineering Department. Uh, we have an information letter from the uh, um, I'm not sure which credit card is 4144. I guess I don't think that's ours. Um, it's Collins or Denny's. Could be. Um, a uh, information letter from Direct Energy about our, uh, our, our natural gas uh, pricing. Uh, question, oh yeah, question from Lisa Abel about the old CETA agreement, which expired in 2011. Uh, some information from uh, MSA about the um, construction manager uh, process that we're entering into. Um, will we be talking about that at all in the... We certainly will. We'll be talking about that probably. Brand new firehouse. Oh, good. Report. We have a copy of uh, Chief Altman's report, monthly March report to Bath Township of, of uh, service. Uh, we have a monthly newsletter from Green County Council on Aging. Uh, we have more information about the, the draft addendum to the uh, architectural agreement, which we will be referring to again, in the, uh, and some more about that, uh, and some more about that. <laughs> we have uh, information about the, we have information about the motor vehicle uh, license fee that we uh, are now, well not right this minute because the, the, it won't take effect till July, but we will be um, authorized to increase uh, by five dollars come July um, give us a little a little additional is that our option or do we have to do it through the it is our option this time we don't have to go through the county like the last like before uh, generates about <coughs> roughly four or five thousand motor vehicle license mm -hmm. um, Information about the uh, regional planning committee meeting tomorrow. Uh, legislative alert from Ohio Township Association. Uh, another legislative alert from Ohio Township Association. Uh, one was on general, and this is on the uh, specifically on the transportation budget. This is a little, a little behind the times. Um, MVRPCs were rolling in the spring with the bike month, and all kinds of good executive director information. Uh, some information about uh, a trip I'm going on with MVRPC. I'm, it's either June 8th or June 9th. I would, you, you said June 8th on that number. What does NARC stand for? What does NARC stand for? That's, it says NARC conference. <laughs> National Association of Regional Councils. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I don't have the date. Well, departure date 6-8. Is that the date? You can't. Curve. Can't go canoeing. Was that in the morning? I hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope I can do it tomorrow. I'm going to do the dark start. Oh, well. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said I had hoped I could do it in the morning and then be able to rest up for the next day. But anyway. Okay. Any other correspondence in or out? Hearing none, let's move along to the firehouse report, please. <coughs> okay. Since the last meeting, uh, there have been 43 EMS incidents, 26 fire incidents, 
and go up our safety inspections. No, because none of you did. Well, I started and then I went out with training and got back three minutes before the meeting. So. You may copy that from Andy Graham. No. Uh, <laughs> the uh, bulk of the fire incidents, I think, well, not, not a bulk, but like 11 of them came from the uh, Friday morning's windstorm. Mm. Moved through, which turned out to be straight line winds here in Miami Township that then went and made a little baby turn. Mm -hmm. um, so we had. In the township, there were five barns that sustained damage from the winds. Um, the village had two structures that were damaged by uh, trees coming down. Mm -hmm. um, so the guys were busy for about two hours Friday morning, going back and forth and checking on different things. Um, luckily, there were no big fire hazards and all those sort of stuff. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, those trees and power lines, they can certainly yeah. zap something ablaze <laughs> yeah. quickly enough. Um, and then we locked out yesterday and all the bad stuff the storm went into Clark County, so that was, that was nice in the storm. Yes, it was. I, I thought so. <laughs> the third damage was mostly from trees falling down. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think they declared that, I mean, they didn't, the 20, oh, Friday morning in Clark County was like an EF zero. So, I didn't know they went down that way. Yeah, neither did I, but hmm. I learned a lot Friday afternoon or Friday evening when I drove around the township with Roseanne from EMA and uh, two people from the weather service. And a lot of terms that never do existed. Like splatter. splatter. <laughs> Post storm splatter. So. Mm. But anyway, so um, the uh, we rushed uh, the bath township tanker into service uh, because uh, our existing tanker um, we used it Tuesday night in the training and the main rear dump valve started to leak a little bit. Five gallons every three or four hours. Um, in the past, we've had that problem. It's due to lack of better term, barnacles from our hard water building up. So we went out, dumped the tank on Saturday, and uh, the crew took some CLR and got rid of the, the barnacles. Scale. Yep. Uh, but we noticed that the big butterfly flapper valve um, was pretty much all gone on the inside. So when they filled the tank back That's up, a lot of scrubbing. It started. <laughs> Losing about five gallons of, uh, seemed like five gallons a minute, basically. So, uh, luckily, we, luckily we had another tanker. So, <laughs> we put that one. That's why it's visiting the old one, visiting you, and then we'll move it outside. And we're gonna order another, unless it's crazy expensive, which it shouldn't be. We're gonna order another valve, so at least it'll hold water, and that way we have our backup tanker ready to go. Well, it's empty, so there's no reason you can't move it outside now. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's empty. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's there. So it's on my pit. Yeah. I thought that was the new truck you've been ready, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a short bit of hose with a valve uh, attached to the hydrant. Yes. Um, that is the That's the Yeah, they're using that. They're prepping um, for filling the pool. That's it. Or filling the pool. It's got directional boring with that turn to go. Oh, yes. And they're also using that, too. Yep. And that's the best hydrant to use in the town because it doesn't stir up too much schmutz. I will actually give uh, props to the village for uh, the new water plant and uh, both tankers when we were doing the drill, uh, you know, dumping the water. And usually, you know, you had a lot of iced tea coming out of these tankers. <laughs> and it was crystal clear, beautiful water. Really? Yeah. I mean, probably the first time in my career. <laughs> <laughs> that. How many years? <laughs> long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Um, actually, sometimes we'll have clean water, but usually it's when we filled up at the air park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, these are great. So whatever they did, did <laughs> worked well. Um, uh, Saturday we participated in opening day for trails here in Yellow Springs for the National Rails the Trails Coalition, and we gave out with the police department. We gave out 150 hot dogs. So, they were good cool. too. Well fed and happy, <laughs> and some bike, actually little safety bike bikes that we purchased. Um, so those worked out really nice. How many cans of wobbly wheel did you give out? Um, oh, we're supposed to give that out? I, was <laughs> <laughs> I tried to convince Jeremy to ride the wobbly wheel that bike, but uh, he wasn't having it. So. Don't kid. Um, May 6th, your next meeting. Um, someone. Chris, Christy, 
Chris Bradford from Kenron Health Network will be here to, um, she's going to present the guys mm -hmm. um, who say that gentleman from that township with uh, some recognition from Kenron Health Network. So. Um, and I believe all are part of the uh, township trustees will be here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, because nothing's ever easy, uh, staff changes. Ryan Evans has been working for us for about a year. Very good employee. Um, got a conditional job offer from the city of Springfield Fire Division, so he'll be more than likely leaving us next month. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, good for him. That's, that's great for him. But, um, so we'll be taking current volunteer for us, Weiss, and putting him into a part time status, but I forgot to have time to do the resolution for you guys today. Um, he's helped out as a volunteer filling the shifts. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He works for Franklin Fire Department as well. I think we should include that sign up or increase that sign on bonus to twenty five grand or something. <laughs> that might help. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we had maybe maybe you saw it in the Yellowstone News. We had a, a new ad designed. Payne Sand did a new ad for us for recruiting, the volunteer recruiting, um, and I ran for two weeks in the paper. They had a blurb about us meeting people last week. Uh, that Carol did, um, and then we're gonna. His applications have flooded in. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen them, but uh, we're gonna do another mailing. I mean, that seemed to really help. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, a Facebook campaign is the most helpful thing. Yeah. No. So I've got cards already. Mm -hmm. We just have to modify them with basic principles to change the date. Do another open house and uh, see what we get. Hope it's fun. Volunteers. Uh, and then last but not least, um, our stair climb is coming up. We've got a nice new flyer, fancy flyer. Um, Premier Health has signed on this year as our title sponsor for that. So um, that's fantastic. They, they won the arm wrestling contest with Kettering. Uh, well, Kettering's too slow. Oh. I mean, basically, basically that's what it boiled down to. It usually is. Uh, Ket uh, Premier jumped on that really quickly. <laughs> Um, and That's in September? Yeah, September 7th. Um, and as far as I know, the stuff, the packet of Kettering is still slowly making its way. It used to be, we just went through the Green Medical Foundation and dealt with Jeff Brock, mm -hmm. um, but apparently corporate-wise they're changing that whole process and Green Medical Foundation is basically giving food, which is great, and they're going to be our lunch sponsor. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be the lunch yeah. sponsor. Nice. Um, but money now comes, I guess, right from from ownership. So mm -hmm. we're going to need to get that process. But, but at least Premier jumped right on it. And they're happy. We're doing a big, that'll be a big rollout on the 29th, announcing them as the mm -hmm. sponsor from one of the Hamilton Actually, it's going to be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Um, so what, big, big thanks, Premier. Yeah. That's 4000 bucks. What potential impediments might be from the I know the community foundation donated half a million dollars to the re-plumbing. No problem. Yeah. It's not gonna Jackie assures me that's not an issue. So okay. it's basically at least not this issues. year and probably not next year. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's definitely necessary because I can vouch for the building's condition is not getting. I mean, it's a bunker, but I mean, in terms of paint and uh -huh. smell. Uh -huh. like so the work that's going on, but the. That work is primarily to, to install a heating system that will keep the building dry year round. And it won't have, it's, we're still a long way from using the building for anything yep. else. Yep. I say we, I'm, I'm in part of the, the committee that's working on all of this. Right. Every now and then when you go to make building, suddenly Richard's in there and it's kind of terrifying when he pops out of somewhere. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you doing in my building? <laughs> A very quiet feet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it should be fine, at least this year. So this year so. Okay. I, I was wondering if that would change your timetable, but okay, great. And that is it. No, we did have a, there was a bill in there for a new turnout gear we mentioned earlier today. This 10 year NFPA rule on turnout gear is uh, starting to fill up. But. Tell them, put your wish list to Bath Township. Throw, yeah. Throw a few sets of turnout gear on there. Yeah, we may have to. I was trying to come up with stuff that was kind of non-essential since technically it's only a loan. And, but I guess if, if anything ever happened, we would buy it from them. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I did mention it, but Steve said they wanted the turnout gear would have to fit him. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Just in case. So. And now we recruit people by size. <laughs> At times, people <laughs> walk in the door and you're like, ah, you got nothing. Well, that was Kit, the Nate Walter, who was appointed last time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I just have to have them rotate. You know, they're on a triple shift <laughs> schedule. Right. And today you get the gear. Mm -hmm. uh, probably violating some stadium somehow. So. Anyway, but at least that turnout gear was purchased on state of Ohio contract. So mm -hmm. it saves us apparently like $400. So. That's hey, great. You know, That's savings is savings, I guess. Anyway, that's us. I wanted to publicly thank you for the quality of the job that your crew did. I, I don't think you were there that day, uh, uh, burning the uh, prairie grass at the Natural Barrow Cemetery. Yeah, that got good coverage. Yeah, that's right, it did. Um, I was there for the photos and I left, so. It was, it was pretty complete. <laughs> and one of these days when Dan gets caught well, up with caught up with you. Uh, <laughs> you need to take your get some trees. New, new chainsaw. <laughs> I can't believe how those trees have grown. Focus on that one end. They're, they're, just, they're, they're all coming up. They're coming off the roots. It's amazing. They, head yeah. start. they were never there before. They just <laughs> they show up, don't they? <laughs> if, if you cut down a locust tree, you will get locust trees coming up all around it. Yeah. A certain, yeah, oh, certain yeah. distance out, then the roots will sprout. What? They, come up they don't do it at the stump like, something like a yeah. lot of trees. They do it further out. Wow. It's like high schools. But there, little were, there were never locust off, trees there. Off, off, all that dry down on the north side, they're all locust trees. Oh, the, that's what's coming over? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's some of them are more plucked. Bit, so, won't stop them. Well, some of them you got to do more than pluck. They're 20 feet tall. <laughs> they'll, they'll come out. Mm -hmm. them be quick. <laughs> Don't fight with them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I also wanted to mention that I think we talked about it briefly, but we do have the necessity of putting a fire levy on the ballot. Um, either, well, it's too late for the spring, so fall this year, or spring, fall next year, according to David Graham. Yes. We can do it, any of those. Yeah, and any of those service. three. Three, yeah. We'll just need to see uh, which one the schools are going to be on. Right. And if we talked about this. Do you want me to I haven't heard anything. Email Mr. Graham with just like how much money would a replacement do and how much would the renewal do? Or did someone do that? Or should I do that? Um, well, let, let's wait. Okay. I'll wait just time. for a little bit anyway. Yep. Yeah. We'll have to get into that more fully. Okay. Is that it? That's like it. So let's move to the fire department report. Um, some people, not me, have been working like little like little beavers uh, the past two weeks to get all the uh, nuts and bolts worked out and the I's dotted and the T's crossed on the uh, agreement that we discussed. Uh, we have been discussing now for a fair amount of time between uh, MSA, ourselves, and WDC in Springfield to act as the construction uh, manager agent uh, on the project. And uh, those details have been worked out. Um, we have, there is an agreement, i got to keep all these players separate, there's an agreement between MSA and WDC on the uh, additional services contract, subcontract, which is what it be, for, with MSA, with WTC for MSA for, for that work. And that, uh, that scope of, um, of work is in this document here. And this has been agreed to by both uh, parties. And uh, they will, um, if we accept, if we accept the um, what are we calling this? The additional services request for enhanced CA services, um, 
and I forget what CA is. I know what CA is. M is construction manager. It must be construction advisor, advisor. something like that. It could be. Uh, if, if we accept this at the terms, and there were terms, there were modifications. Uh, uh, MSA's scope of work will decrease in one area, and we will be credited eleven thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. How they get that so close, I have no idea. Uh, but then they will have to take on additional responsibilities, uh, which would I increase the, the price for thirty-eight thousand dollars. So there would be a, you know there would be an, uh, an offset. But the total would be the total for the additional construction management agent service would be because they're going to WDC is going to charge four percent of the project, so it comes out to two nine two nineteen two hundred nineteen thousand, and then the uh, pluses and minuses the total is two forty five two fifty for the construction management uh, to 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 complete the project. Uh, again, we talked about that at our last meeting. Uh, if this went out to single source uh, bids like we had done the first three times, uh, that price would have been roughly 15% of the, uh, so 750000 So we're basically, just by making this one change, saving about uh, half a million dollars um, what it would have been. So uh, that's a good first step. Yeah. And then once, once we've signed this, uh, I will be actually physically taking three copies of these uh, tomorrow morning and meeting uh, Ashley Kelly from the USDA in Xenia and then he is going to uh, forward his copy to uh, his people in Washington DC because it's the DC office that has to approve the construction management ag agreements and not the Columbus office which does the other ones, don't ask me why, and then uh, he will uh, deliver uh, one set to uh, WDC in Springfield and one set to MSA in Cincinnati for us. And so that once once all of those parties have a copy of, of that, then they will sign, wherever it is, the uh, addendum to the contract uh, for that, our agricultural. No, the, no, the, the 15-page addendum. Anyway, it's around somewhere. Uh, that's not. We don't sign that. That's between those two for the services, and and those terms and conditions have been uh, also reviewed uh, by both of their uh, organizations and their attorneys, and they have agreed to the language in that uh, addendum. And so, once that's done. Uh, and I believe that's going to be at a special meeting held here next Wednesday, the 24th. We talked about that special meeting. Um, in the afternoon, we will have it in the afternoon. <coughs> it will be determined, but it will be We afternoon. haven't set no, but exactly what time. Cause Not yet. But um, it's probably about, we use, they usually seem to like 2.30. I have, it will be offered for me to be on time if it's before 1.30. Oh, it will be before <laughs> so anyway, and at that time, we will then, the, the clock starts on, on everybody to get this project built. Uh, they will then start making, uh, you know, hopefully multiple uh, trips back and forth and uh, not to here, but um, between offices and, and, and then bring us the options for getting it in line to the in line with the price that we feel we're going to need to to have it go out to the multiple contract this is piece by piece right this piece by piece and some of these ideas that we talked about uh we have talked about that are just yet to be determined um and we haven't as i say we haven't even heard from the uh, uh a, a app the app architects that are looking over for the value engineering also but but some of the things we talked about is is to go uh, not have a sprinkler system uh, in the in the building, say it's about one hundred fifty plus thousand dollars. But to do that, we'd have to swap uh, where the bunk rooms are now over to where the fitness center and the uh, and the and the water pump, um, the domestic water pump would be. 
apparently that's that's a viable, not not too costly uh, change of uh, position for for those things. Um, what were the other ones? There were some electrical things. Oh, we were looking into potentially uh, changing the HVAC right. system from now to whatever. either zoned yeah. uh, or maybe another uh, another kind. I'm not really sure about that. Um, um, smaller items, some electrical things that might have saved that might save fifty plus thousand yeah. dollars if if the panels aren't as big or mm. stuff. So those are all things that are, they haven't even, we, we, we had a conversation last Wednesday and they hadn't even started looking at any of those things. And rightfully so, because they're not under contract to do yeah. it. So, you know, you don't want to start paying estimators and drafts people and yeah. this, that, the other thing, uh, until, you know, there's actual um, money behind it. So that will that will start happening um, <coughs> next, next Wednesday, assuming that there is someone at this table who would move to uh, approve this additional services request to extended CA services um, between uh, MSA and WTC? And that's for a total of roughly two hundred and ten thousand. Mm, two thirty, I think. It, remember, we had two nineteen minus eleven seven plus thirty eight two forty five two fifty. Anticipating that this will save us, the, the whole move will save us a million dollars. This move will only only save us a half. But after that, the idea is that by piecing it out rather mm -hmm. than bidding it as one package, some of the pieces will be lower. Some of the pieces will be lower, but we will have to do additional value engineering. For the example being changing the sprinkling system, not doing the sprinkling system. Um, so not this isn't. You're, so you're saying this isn't a magic wand for a million, but this is going in the direction that we mm -hmm. are expecting yeah. to save more money. Right. And on top of the five, realistically, I mean, the minimum we'll have to probably value engineer out is another 300000 uh, The The high end would be a million. You know, if, if we can't get to what we feel comfortable with, after we're at 300, we will probably just go with that and, and say, you know, say it's 750, roughly 750 less than the last bid, you know, the, the contract uh, maximum would be. So, um, so anyway, uh, I would entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Mr. Crockett moves in her second. I'll second. Mr. Hollister seconds any further discussion regarding signing this agreement. Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. All right, so <clears throat> I will get these signed and over to Mr. Kelly so in the morning. What, just for the sake of um, the minutes, it, the agreement is, tech, what, it's an agreement between MSA, Miami Township, and the D WDC. What kind, of, what kind of, is there anything I can say? A signature signed okay. agreement. This is, this is an, uh, an agreement between MSA and Miami Township, not WDC. Oh, okay. It is an agreement to, to allow MSA to enter into agreement, to agree to allow MSA to enter into agreement with WDC to be the construction manager agent on the project. Construction. And work together towards that agreement. agent. Right. And whose responsibility is whose? Etc., and that is spelled out in the subsequent document of scope of Thank service. You. It's attached. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We clear? Mm -hmm. One vote? I think we did. I think we did. Yeah, good sure. <laughs> yeah, It was all yes. All yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much everything that's really been, or everything which wasn't a whole lot, or it wasn't a whole lot for us, but it was a lot for them to work on. and. Uh, for the mm -hmm. firehouse project. So if there's nothing else from anyone, we can move along to uh, cemetery. Yes, sir. Well, we had a couple burials. We had one down here last Monday and one in Clifton on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of action. 
Mm-hmm. I've got one pending, but I don't know how soon. She called last week. She had to call back. Mm-hmm. We had one pending for down here. Uh, grass season has begun. Yep. Put in his mode last week. Mm-hmm. Caught in time last year. We were a week behind because of the weather. But hopefully we can stay ahead of it here. Mm-hmm. We'll do our best. Yeah, right. yeah. You know how fast it grows in April and May, but don't we? I could have called in to see when this was going to be mowed, but I haven't had a return call yet. So, mm-hmm. again on the first one, and then call me back. Okay. Well, they mowed east today. Did he? Mm-hmm. Well, he called me back. He's mm-hmm. the mower, probably. Maybe he didn't hear Maybe. Maybe. I'm calling Friday. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. I hadn't noticed it had been mowed since it's been this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there. then that answers my question down one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Chief, I want to thank you for burning the pen up, so I thank you too. Hey, our pleasure. Um, I like that. That's easy. Mm-hmm. For the Clifton, you say the meeting may okay the Chipsy. Yes. Good. I'll add that to the list. Because pre con Wednesday. Wednesday? Mm-hmm. So I'll put it on there. Okay. You have any contact with Walt from Great no, Rivers? No. No? <laughs> Two messages. No. No return call. But the answer the phone? So I had a message. It, it says leave a message. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay, fine. Try again. Try again. I think I'll go on his website for right now. Maybe he had Tim Cannon of maybe gone, they, gone fishing they, or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> for as much luck as you've had with that. Um, speaking of great groomers, uh, I, I'm sure your list, your substantial list, also includes topping up seating and, and stalling. Yeah. Yeah. How many you got to do? Seven down here, I think. There's mm-hmm. three in Clifton. Seven or seven or seven over here. Mm-hmm. They'll be seated, hopefully green by no more day. There we go. We'll do my best. Mm-hmm. We have some bases we have to put in. Clifton. Down here, I think they've got one to rework. I've got it. I got the. Yeah, no. I got one today. Okay. I think we have five in Clifton to do. Any idea when those uh, names are going to be put on the stone in the scattering garden? No, but I talked to Larry today and I didn't think they asked me. Now, they were blasting some names last week. The guy was in doing some names uh, section in the field or somewhere. Oh, yeah. And it was a regular stone. Mm-hmm. I'll have to call Larry. I'll call Larry. Potentially they, they've done it then? Because I mean, it doesn't take very long. I didn't look. I didn't yeah, look. I didn't but know. I will. I'll make a point. Mm-hmm. If they haven't, I'll call it. I mean, I looked before we burned the thing. But and they haven't been done. Uh-uh. But somebody's been down here. But yeah. Okay. I'll look and if they haven't, I'll call it. Okay. Um, we have, uh, we're in the middle of finishing up or doing the uh, veteran markers in the cemetery. We had uh, 50 or so done uh, last week, and they were reinstalled um, Saturday, and then take, took another 50 out um, Saturday, and I got to straighten up the, you know, pretty, a lot of them are bent up. <laughs> I straightened a couple of your others you had laying there on the table in the last round. Yeah, well, you I can straighten, straighten these more if you <laughs> like. If you're sitting around <laughs> in my spare time. Yeah, in your spare time. Um, I, I'm going to get to that in the next day or so because I'm trying to uh, beat Roger uh, as best I can. Um, have For his back. streaming and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, they have graciously um, agreed or refused payment for the work, and I, I don't think that's fair. Uh, this the senior family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the senior foundry has been doing free work in honor of veterans. Yeah, they yeah. have. And uh, I'm going to uh, make an executive decision to uh, offer the man doing the work on it. He's doing it on his own. Um, a, a, a gift card. I mean, I'm going to send it to him. He doesn't want to take anything, but you can get something in the mail and it's, <laughs> we can't get it. <laughs> We're not going to get it. <laughs> uh, send it back. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, 
So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that they decided to uh, do all that. And that, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, unless there's some hiding around somewhere. Uh, in the Clifton Cemetery, I saw a few on the ground. This, this was a Village of Yellow Springs offer. Mm -hmm. I, I did inquire about that. So. Did you need to mention how much you were going to, because you paying this out of your pocket, this gift card? Mm -hmm. Well, did you want to mention how much you did you want to pay for the other, or is that what you're, or is it just a random Not yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Uh, you, last time you'll, you'll mention the price. Yeah. 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 So that's a cemetery expense. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. That's all I had for cemeteries. <coughs> How about roads? How about them roads? Yeah, they're still there. The <laughs> potholes, too. Potholes and trees. Potholes and trees. So the tree makes potholes. How many did you say you had from Friday? 14 total. Mm -hmm. trees. Yeah, I'm talking you know, mm -hmm. trees that big around with it. Trees that big. I feel one like that. It needs to be cleaned up, yeah. See, that's a lot of... Brian Park Road. We got it cleaned up Friday. Oh, I didn't see that one. It's already cleaned up. I guess so. Oh, <laughs> guardrail's all busted, though. I need to put some guardrail up. So. I saw some on Glen Drive. Hyde and Houston, is that where the majority of yours were? Well, there's one on the circle. That was previous. It's still a, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was previous. But. Oh, it was? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. North River it. Road, South River Road. Of course, that one was actually off the road. The one that's up here. But Hyde Road, a couple mm -hmm. spots. Uh, Houston Road, which mm -hmm. they called while we were keeping the road blocked on South River. So I called Mike at Matt Township, and they just happened to be just down on the road. Is that right? And I said, would you do something? And they said, yes, we would. So <laughs> they opened the road. We cleaned that up today. Mm -hmm. We took out the field. What's in the ditch down in the ditch? I left. Mm -hmm. We cleaned that one up today. And there were some other. And the pile of branches at the firehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so tomorrow, the plan is to take down the long line and get it done. Well, that was a. It's a big. Thing. Yeah, it is. And it's still hung up there, so it's going to be a little tricky. Yeah, it's ugly. I'm going to take everything off and try to get it to hang and then lay the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. We'll get it. We can handle the job. Yeah, I told you pre con meeting Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We'll go to that. Mm -hmm. Put our catch basin movement off until next week. Yeah. Once by us. But it is going to get moved. Not till next week, yeah. So. And hopefully, if I can get a lot done this week, I might take Friday off. But that's you know, you can't keep it. That's what I have to do. Yeah. You got all week left. Kind of all week. So. Well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If not, I'll be here Friday. <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Good yeah. evening for road administrator. those wheels turning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, I find it interesting that after the all the back and forth and the transportation bill and the gas tax and everything, the, the projected amount of the 10.7 after, I guess, after you change the percentage, the 55.45, it's still roughly the same amount as it was at the 18 cent. 800 plus million dollars, 852 million. Of our share. Mm -hmm. 56,000 about. Yes. Not, yeah, not the 90, 50, Oh, is that right? You you looked at the I new distribution? Yeah. Really? It's in the yeah. paper. Yeah. It was 90. I looked it up. What the estimate was, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It, yeah, but I think it was in the day paper. Oh. It listed all of them, every, all of them, you know, municipalities and, you know, we're the same as, I think, Bath Township <coughs> and Springfield Township. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's around 56,000. Yeah, on top of what we're already getting. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, that's that'll, okay. that'll be help. Yes. Yeah. For sure. I'll buy some tires or something. Tires. <laughs> cool bags. <laughs> buy some black top. Okay. Black top, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we shall move along. Uh, Pistol officer. You have a well, for us? Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we spent all that. Um, uh, Already? Training mm -hmm. services money on the uh, the door thing. So 
<laughs> so I had to re appropriate more money in the training services fund and the uh, EMS billing. Did you get billing. the cost share from that? Is that done? Whoever was cost Yeah, we got the check from Seattle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just the one entity? Yeah. Oh, okay. The fire. Those firemen. Yeah. Good. Yeah, actually, I should ask the firewoman, actually. <laughs> yeah, chip in, girls. Come on. <laughs> so, I can read a resolution for you all. All right. It's 2019 13, Amendment of Permanent Appropriations. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now, therefore, the trustees authorize an amendment of the following per a permanent appropriation. And as I said, the EMS Services Fund 2281 230 318 training services increased by 4,000, which is what we originally appropriated, and I just put it back in there because we spent it all already. And the fund could, is, is okay. It didn't hurt the fund to do that, so. Anyway, okay. there we go. I move adoption of this resolution. I have a second. I have a motion and a second is for the discussion <coughs> regarding this resolution. Hearing none, may vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. And, um, I wanted to get back with you all about the uh, mystery 62,000, or was it 67.5, mm -hmm. of uh, other, and mm -hmm. we, it was, we didn't know what that was all about. Mm -hmm. Well, um, primarily, it, it represents the um, homestead um, and uh, rollback monies mm -hmm. that we get twice a year. Mm -hmm. that, that, like last year, it, um, it totaled $69,800. So that's pretty much where that, that money is. It, you know, it's it's cl classified as other. So other is like that line. It's everything but the property tax, personal property, and um, you know, state receipts or whatever. So that's how you get that money. It was just so coincidentally close to other mm -hmm. financing sources. Well, it, you know, those numbers mm -hmm. move. Can, it, that doesn't matter. So the other intergovernmental, you're saying that's the homestead rollback? Yes. And the other financing sources as well. Yeah, here's a, here's a um, if you want to take a look at this, this is the revenue receipt register, mm -hmm. and it's all the quote unquote other mm -hmm. um, line items. And so you can see that the highlighted is the is the rollback homestead. When we get our when we get our um, it's it's on the yeah it's just it's part of the when we get our it's biannual settlement big fat money from property taxes that's also in there. Okay. I'm going to have to duck out. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, thank you, but I was asking about nine ninety nine, not five ninety nine. Well, is it down there? I, I basically included it. That's from last year. I yeah, but la last year's was seven thousand seven hundred, and this year's is sixty two thousand two hundred fifty. Or sixty-seven thousand five hundred. Last year it was seven thousand seven hundred and thirty-five. Well, I think in the revenue receipt area, though, it doesn't that was doesn't break down all that stuff. Yeah, the bureau workers cap. It's the bottom. Of this one. It's the only one listed five ninety-nine. Um. Oh, the. the Oh, no, this is, it says 999, you mean? Or 999, I'm sorry. I mean, 999, And it was, I, 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 I don't know what, what, how that could be. I mean, I thought, I thought in the budget line, that's why it, it was all, it's all these together. I don't know, I'll have to look it up. I'll look it up again. Um, okay. Um, well, thanks for looking up. I think, but see, I think with the, when, when you submit your budget to this, to the county, they lump a bunch of stuff together. All their all their other sources are all lumped together. So, um, I'll, I'll, and then and then the when the property taxes that are um, collected, they aren't all on the property line, property tax line, revenue line. Mm -hmm. They're split um, into. Um, I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the. Uh, let me see that revenue thing. See, like, uh, it's broken down into other governmental down here. And, I, well, I'll just try, keep looking, but 
Well, it seems like it's congruent with everything we every year we've had that, that amount of money pretty much okay. well, I'll, I'll check the, budget on I'll, budget. I'll check the last few years and see what those numbers were. I just I just I don't know, call me suspicious, but I just don't understand how it can be within two hundred and fifty dollars of each other of sixty seven thousand. Well, those are random numbers that they, that they have kind of, you know, so they, they, they don't go they don't look for Is that exact their favorite numbers. is that their favorite numbers? It's just it's just um, <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> yeah, you know, I think this, this is the way it, I, they, they just throw it kind of throw up random, random, not random, but they round things up and down and, mm -hmm. you know, they don't go to the penny, okay. the single dollar. Well, I, I guess I didn't have, I don't have that answer yet. All right, well, thank you for <laughs> checking in the first trying. part. Okay. Appreciate it. Is there anything else, Margaret? No. Anything else for the fiscal officer, Margaret? Mark? Mark for Margaret? <laughs> Okay, cool. Now, what's Richard doing here? This is the question of the night. <laughs> the question of the night. Richard is here because he was not able to attend the first meeting of the month and decided it wasn't uh, a good idea to wait till the, till the May meeting because he's got a million zoning permits. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to, wanted to update you. All right. Um, let's see, I'll just run through them. Uh, Tyler Sloan on Houston Road is, is building a barn. Uh, Robert and Janet Traim are building a deck on the rear of the house. Uh, Bartley Davis on Swimming Pool Road is doing uh, significant uh, remodeling. Uh, Drew Amstutz is building a new house where the old house was on the corner of West Enon and Hyde Road, you know that lot, you know, it's, it's, it's where Mrs. Daly lived. Uh -huh. Anyway, the house was in such terrible condition when they bought that property that they torn it down and they're replacing it. Drew, Drew is who to Dale, just for? I think it's his son. Is that right? Oh. But I'm not positive about that. Then um, Don Nightingale out on Kyle Road is, is uh, putting up a uh, detached garage, and this one is a zoning permit, but uh, Jessica Shelton um, is putting in a driveway on the lot they have on Harbison Road. Well, you have been busy, haven't you? What? You have been busy, haven't you? Yes, I, was, you know, I mean, it's like every day. Oh, I did actually did two permits, I think two or three permits in one day. That was a record. <laughs> the driveway, is that the one with the new house? Yeah, yeah, the one we talked about. They got worked off. When, we, when I was last here. Yep. So that's the, the news from the permit department. I don't have anything. Oh, I did um, send a letter to, I think it's officially community the Arthur Morgan Institute for Community Service. Anyway, just uh, going over what the agricultural zone permits, including the details about agritourism, which kind of expands what you can do. Um, and with the, the caveat that, you know, what you have to do has to be directly related to agriculture. Um, not just, it's, you know, a nice thing to do on the property. And I said, if you have any trouble, you know, being sure of that one way or the other, you know, give me a call and we'll, we'll go over it. And that was based on primarily looking at their website and seeing all the events they had listed and some of them seemed a little far away from, mm -hmm. <laughs> from agriculture. Mm -hmm. So I haven't, I'll, I may follow up with a phone call in a, in a few days. I only sent that last week. Uh, but I'm sort of just keeping an eye on that because I don't want it to get out of, right. out of hand. Yeah. It, it's obviously the activities out there are very popular in the community, uh, well attended, but that doesn't mean that we're <laughs> trying to create a new, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what, what we want to call it, a new activity in the township. Mm -hmm. So those are the, the two important things I want to report to you. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. well, it's nice to hear there's activity and... Um, um, I assume the the permit, not permit for the barn, was just a cons, con, consulting you on it. I mean, they're not required for a permit. Well, oh, this barn isn't entirely for agricultural purposes. Oh, I see. 
Barnes has a loose loose term. Whenever anybody calls me up and and you know and is inquiring, do I need a permit to build a barn? I say, what are you going to use the barn for? And and I don't say anything until they list the things, and then I say, okay, then you need to pull a permit because that's not completely agricultural use. Mm -hmm. If it was only for agricultural purposes, then you could avoid the permit if you want to. You could avoid the building permit too. Mm -hmm. But and then I also inform them. But be cautious. The little bit of work you do getting a zoning permit means you won't have any headaches down the road if you go to put electricity in the barn or any other things because every time somebody comes in with an agricultural structure to the building department wanting to make improvements and they call me up and say, is it all right? Uh -huh. So usually the smoothest thing is, is to come in and, and pull a permit even if, even if they think it's only going to be agricultural. Nice thing. Like, like this one. One of the big reasons they're building this is for 4-H projects for the kids, but mm -hmm. that only goes on for so long, and then usually people don't want to tear out the barn after that. Right. That's that sort of thing. So that's that's why there's a permit on on most of the barns built in the township. Matter of fact, the people that are die-hard farmers, agricultural, know not to call up and ask them in the first place. Right. Yeah. So that rarely happens that someone talks to me and I say, no, we don't need to do anything. But that calling, I do get calls from the building department, well, maybe once a year, saying, you know, is this a legitimate structure, so forth and so on. So I think it's good for people to have the, the document that says they went through the process. Mm -hmm. Even though we have basically no restrictions in the agricultural zone on size or placement of, mm -hmm. of any accessory structure. Mm -hmm. No. Concerns only are when you put additions on your house because there are setback requirements for that. Okay, thank you. Anything yeah. else for Richard? Okay, we'll move along to uh, standing committee reports. Uh, MVRPC did not meet last month, and regional planning is meeting tomorrow, and so I'm in, I'm in between on that one. Um, uh, I have a, if I haven't told you before, I have a, a, a foundation, a Grand Isle Mill Foundation meeting on the 29th, so that'll be before our next meeting uh, with the other uh, with the other members, uh, Nick Buddhist and Dave Newhart, and I'll give you a report on what, what happened at that. Um, I don't believe the TAC met this year this past month either, but Don didn't have a report on that. Uh, he's not here, but if between Dan and Margaret, if there's any information on the, on the cemetery um, uh, board meeting that happened last Friday, Friday morning? Well, I didn't get to it then. I had oh, you didn't? Oh. Trees. 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 Down. <laughs> on Friday, so it was bad day for meetings, yeah. You did, you did submit your maintenance? I did. Mm -hmm. Is there a copy here or no? That's a good shot. Oh, okay. I didn't know where I was from. No. I noticed it was one in the truck, but I didn't stop and read it. I was going to take it. No, I, I put it back on my desk today. And yeah, okay. <laughs> Should have taken it. But I do have a, you know, uh -huh. a copy if you need it. I'll bring it down. So on your desk, you know. Was there any discussion about that I from the know. other members? Nope. Uh -huh. It was just handed out, and um, they, as, as, um, Dan already mentioned they did approve the $13,000 estimate of um, chip, chip sealing all the roads in the cemetery. And um, and they uh, agreed to pay one-third of the Pontum um, service maintenance agreement for the year, which totaled about $600, which is already in the bank here. Are, are we splitting the chip seal, or are you taking that out of cemetery board they're paying funds? That out, they're paying that out of the cemetery funds. Mm -hmm. Straight up. There's that much in there for that and the yearly maintenance? I thought they were starting to get a little tight. Apparently not. Uh, well, they're, they're, they're at third, they're, I think it was, uh, I think the last, um, the balance was about 34000 right now. Is that right? Huh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's enough to cover the chip Yeah, they counted up there. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. math. <laughs> and decided to go for it. Well, because they just felt like it was, you know, because since they have it now, they might as well get it done. Yeah, well, basically. It certainly needs it. There's absolutely yeah. no question about that. So they yeah. pretty much, they pretty much felt that it's just, you know, it needs or it. Or we're so. going to have more cost if we don't do something. Right, yeah. right. So, 
you going to go over the new road with it, or what are you going to mm -hmm. do? That includes the, the new road. It does. That's what the gravel is for. There, there's a eight hundred dollars for gravel that was for the to put on the new road before the chips. Because mm -hmm. it needs more gravel. Yeah. So, mm. you get that taken care of. Okay. Interesting. Um, anything going on with you, Mark? That I uh, kind of lost track of uh, the economic sustainability group. Um, I talked to uh, I'm trying to remember the gentleman's name. Saul. But, uh, Saul Greenberg. Oh. Um, chatted with him on the street and <coughs> he had uh, planned to forward me information on the uh, research that had been done previously um, in regards to financial stability within the village and uh, he did that and then I missed this last meeting oh. <coughs> um, but I have talked to him since and uh, we're making progress. The um, the thing that struck him was the similarity of, of the information gathered mm -hmm. um, and the current questions uh, that have been posted. And uh, I think that it makes sense. I mean, everything changes, but everything stays the same, basically. Um, <clears throat> um, we've had um, considerable change in employment in, in the village. Mm -hmm. Bernays is gone. Um, more steam is a, a shadow of its former self. Um, and yet the plate is gone. But those questions still have to be answered. Uh, what decisions are, are needed as we go forward? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so that's, that's where that stands at this point. Um, and in regards to the senior center, uh, Suzanne um, Patterson um, communicated with me earlier about the um, the status of the report and the research being done on the uh, senior apartment complex. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently everything is moving forward just uh, just as well yeah. as uh, as could be expected. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, let's see. The McKee Group um, is sponsoring their uh, scholarship uh, application. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's kind of what I was doing this afternoon. Well, one item that's not on the list, I don't know if we should put it on for the future or not, the, the organizational, the ongoing organizational meeting for the um, Yellow Springs Dedicated Community Development Corporation, <laughs> YSEDF. <-E> <laughs> <laughs> uh, met again. At the beginning of, of April. I, I, might, I think it was the same day we met, so I may have reported it now that I think about it, because it was April 1st was the first day of, uh, was our last meeting, and that was the meeting that the meeting date. So I think I probably, I think I probably talked about that. But we will meet again. Yeah, because that's when we, you know, we discussed cut and check. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. so and then I we, did yeah, cut and check this meeting. So. I noticed. Thank yeah. you. Um, we must have talked about it before. Nice.
<laughs> yeah, nice uh, So we'll meet again probably the same day as we meet in May, since it's going to be next <coughs> Monday. So I look forward to that. Um, any old business or any new business? I don't know if it's new business or old business, but I did attend a luncheon last Thursday. Interviews. Did you go to that? Oh, the, the, the I went. Manager. The manager. The, uh -huh. I went the breakfast at Senior Citizens on oh. Thursday. Okay, I went. I didn't go. I couldn't go in the evening the night before, but I went in the morning and met all the candidates. And well, I went to lunch at Antioch. You were probably they had special yes. different other meetings for yes. officials and at Birch Hall, and uh, it was very interesting. Uh, they all seemed to be very, very well spoken, well qualified. Uh, I don't know if they're deciding tonight or not, but yeah, they're supposed to. That's what I. That's what I heard. One of them was a, is a former Miami Township Fire Rescue mm -hmm. person. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I was, I, you know, you end up you, know, you, you do have favorites, but you know, none of them are certainly. Yeah, I had that same impression that I wouldn't be unhappy with any mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Uh, one person said one thing I liked, and another person said a different thing that I liked, and, mm -hmm. but I, they answered my, my pointing questions equally well. Yeah. The, the, the one answer, and I won't attribute it, is, um, well, you know, what do you think about the condition or the, the utilities in town? Mm -hmm. Well, they seem to be in good condition, but, you know, the price is a little high, and the only way to get that down is to, you know, to get more users. So, you know, I, I think, you know, what would be necessary would it, you know, just push for more housing. <laughs> you know, get some development started. Get some, you know, there's some bigger pieces of land that you know you might be able to get some subdivisions put on, and you know, he, he or she might have, in my opinion, might have gone just a, a hair <laughs> further than, than. Well, it takes a while to get to understand yeah. the dynamics of the whole process. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, any other new or old business? Apparently not. Hearing none, I will call for adjournment. We're adjourned. I made some other questions. Beat you to it, Mark. All right. Uh, so, you're a dying